Jan Blahovic. With all the light heavyweight champion has achieved in his run through that division, I still don't think he's gotten the credit he deserves. Now I personally think Israel Adesanya's kickboxing is just too technical to succumb to the Polish power, but with his refusal to bulk up for this clash at light heavyweight, there is a real possibility that Jan will just have too much power in his hands for Israel to handle. As is often said in combat sports, one punch can change an entire fight. Jan is a true mixed martial artist with a black belt in jiu-jitsu and a decorated record in Muay Thai. Blahovic is a ridiculously composed fighter with fantastic clinch work, great head movement and perfect takedown defense. His very patient and slow style allows him to carry that legendary Polish power deep into the fight. After working his way through a lot of the talent in the light heavyweight division, Blahovic has a big task cut out for him in Israel Adesanya. Adesanya might just go down as the greatest striker MMA has ever seen if he can keep maintaining what he's been putting down. With Adesanya's only clear contender in the middleweight division being Robert Whittaker, who he finished in 2019, he has decided to make the jump up to light heavyweight to gain a second belt. But no one should be overlooking Jan, especially in the way they have been. Jan cut his teeth in KSW, one of the premier organizations in Poland and one of the most well-respected companies in European MMA. With a 17-3 record before he entered the UFC, Jan had 13 wins over some of Europe's top competitors, including notable wins over Christian Mpumba, who was the light heavyweight champion in Bellator, Mario Miranda, who was a former M1 middleweight champion and a UFC competitor, and Goran Relic, who was a former UFC competitor who went on to become the bare knuckles light heavyweight champion. Although he took a couple of years to adjust to the new level of competition in the UFC, losing four of his first six, all by decision, Jan went on to move into the light heavyweight rankings. Following a loss to Thiago Santos in early 2019, Jan is now undefeated in four fights. Jan was scheduled to fight Luke Rockhold on the 7th of July 2019. Rockhold had just been outclassed by Romero and was looking to freshen things up by moving his enormous frame for middleweight up to light heavyweight. Jan gave him a rude awakening to his new division, stuffing his takedowns and landing big elbows in the clinch before landing a terrific left hand in the second round, knocking Rockhold out. Jan was then scheduled to fight Salzer, who was also new to the division. After five slow rounds trying to pick each other apart, Jan won a split decision over the two-time IBJJF world champion. In early 2020, Jan fought number five ranked Corey Anderson, who was on a four fight win streak, who would likely be facing John Jones for the title if he could get through the Polishman. Before Anderson could really get going, Jan landed a huge right hand early in the first round, knocking overtime out cold. And that brings us to the day that Jan surprised the world yet again, finishing Dominic Reyes, who'd almost beat John Jones, bringing the light heavyweight championship to Poland for the first time. Jan has been an underdog in most of his fights. Upsets are his specialty. With Adesanya refusing to bulk up so he can dance between the two divisions, he might be biting off more than he can chew. What I think is more interesting is this fight could turn out to be what Israel Adesanya versus Paulo Costa was supposed to be, a true powerhouse versus a legendary kickboxer. Really think before betting against the legendary Polishman. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh! oh! Big oh! left from Jan Bohovic. He's hurt. Reyes in a world of trouble. Jan oh! Bohovic has done it. He's the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion. Poland, your guy got it done. 